I first met Russell in the early 1980s through John Saylor. They were good buddies and we became very good friends, Russell and I. Uh, I used to frame his artwork in trade for pictures, so I ended up with an awful lot of his pictures because he had an awful lot of pictures that were unframed. We got to know each other also uh, at the Warren Art League where we painted baskets. We used to go up there and that was our fundraiser for the Art League. Howard Ford, John Sandin, different men would do the shellacking of the baskets and then all the women would sit around and paint them. And this is one of the baskets that this isn't for sale, this is mine, but Russell painted roses on it. He used to always paint roses on the tops of baskets, so I got that one. This is a portrait that I drew of Russell in 1991. So he was getting elderly then, as you can see, but he was such a vibrant person and so humble. He painted everything right out of his head. He couldn't look at anything and paint this wonderful collection of photographic memories that helped him to draw these beautiful little cottages and quaint little landscapes were all in his head. He drew pictures of trains coming into the station, old locomotives with the steam coming up around them. Um, he was famous for those and for all of his wonderful landscapes. He had such a concept of color that if he did a snow scene, he put a bright orange touch in a tree just to warm it up a little bit. This is a painting he did, kind of a darker painting. I'm not sure when he did this. It's called Midnight Train. It will be for sale at the show. An early oil that is a still life with a picture. Some of the pictures that I have had titles on the back of them and some did not, but most of them did. Russell was, um, he was in assisted care and he was going to sell his house in Asheville. So we took a large cube van up to Asheville to empty out his house and completely filled a cube van with stacks and stacks and stacks of his painting. Some were framed, many were not. And we sold those at the Warren Mall during a Christmas show in the probably late 1980s and uh, oh we sold so many of these to help pay for his way so he would sit back there and sign them and I was framing them and so many people got an opportunity to have one of his wonderful paintings and I feel blessed that I knew him as long as I did when he was in the assisted care nursing home um, I would sometimes go and paint with him. So I would take a canvas and he would have a canvas and we would paint together. And I, I didn't want to do anything on my own because I wanted to see how his brain worked because he had such an incredible ability to put colors together. So I would just say, now Russell, what should I put here? What colors? And he'd tell me what colors to mix together. And one of my fondest memories was um, I was going to paint some trees. And he said, well, I'll mix up some lizard and crimson and some blue and some this and that. And I said, what about green, Russell? And he said, why would you use green? And that's the way his wonderful mind worked in doing these beautiful paintings. If you look closely at this painting, the sky is green. It's not blue. You might expect to see a midnight painting with a dark blue sky, but he didn't think that that was necessary. He interpreted it with a dark green sky. And that is typical of how he worked. So I feel blessed to have known Russell as long as I did. Uh, when he was getting close to the end of his life, I would take canvas boards and make him paint because he was such a true artist that if he didn't paint he wasn't alive. So I would take matte board and have him paint flowers on it or anything else like that and um, actually the last painting that he ever did 
that was a full canvas is going to be sold here. It's called The Last Train.